Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sahar and today is gonna be a face-off. ELF recently released their liquid poreless putty primer and we are gonna be facing this off with the original poreless putty primer. Okay, I'm cheating. This is not the original original. This is the cookies and dreams version. I do have a video on the original. I'll be linking it up here. And this performs almost exactly the same as the original. So we're gonna keep it. So if you can tell which one is the e.l.f. putty primer side and which one is the liquid side, then comment down below on your thoughts and your guesses. And um, yeah, you're gonna find out in like five seconds. So yeah. If you like these types of videos, don't forget to link my what? If you do like these types of videos, don't forget to like this video, subscribe and comment down below what you'd like to see next. Also click that notification bell to be informed when I upload. If you want to see how I made this look, I did do a latte makeup video, very viral, and I'll be linking it up here or down below for you to check out. Go and watch that. It's a beautiful makeup look. I really enjoyed it. I really loved it. And I use these products. So yeah, so let's just get into the video. So I found this at my local shoppers and I'm so excited because in Canada, you usually get everything last minute, like really late. And I'm surprised that they actually carry this in my local shoppers. So I went ahead and grabbed it and I'm so excited to try it. So before anything else, hi, my name is Sahar. I am a small content creator and I probably redo this spiel all over again at the end of the video. Oh my God. I really do appreciate you supporting me growing in this platform. I don't know what it is about today. I have no energy and I have to film two more videos after this. And I have like a really painful pimple where I have my glasses on. You know those, I, I hate it when that happens. And did I mention that I broke a nail? So I'm like, oh my gosh, why? So anyway, about the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. So they have this e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I got this during their Cookies and Dream collection and it is exactly the same, I believe, as the Putty Primer. Just smells a little different. It's the same consistency, the same texture. And I have this because I don't have the original because I did not really enjoy the original very much. But now that I have a little bit more of a dry cheek area and oily t-zone i feel like these products will be different for me and the liquid poreless putty primer is the exact same but it's liquid version i did use this in a previous video where i was trying different products that chat gpt would suggest to me and i will be linking that video up here if it's already up if not then i'll be linking it down below so i'll be putting this on this side of my face and this on this side of my face and we're gonna put some foundation on top and see what happens at the end and then we can see the results together side by side. And yeah, I'm pretty excited. So let's just get into it. So you can actually tell they're extremely different texture wise. The putty primer is very creamy, almost like a whipped cream. And the liquid one is extremely liquidy. It's like, it's almost like lotion. I have to say on my hand, they look extremely similar, but I do really like how the liquid looks on my hand. I do have porous hands. And I feel like the liquid side kind of looks more luminous, more smooth and silky. As opposed to the putty side, which kind of looks a little bit more thick. I'm going to go in with the putty type version first. And I'll put that on my right side. So it is less liquidy, of course, than other primers. There are very many primers that are liquid, but not very many primers that come in the tub like the L putty primer does and I don't like putting too much on just because I don't want my skin to look too heavy and now we're going in with the elf liquid poreless putty primer on this side and I'm gonna be putting it on this side of my skin so I'm just gonna blend that into my skin and honestly this off the bat already feels just like a moisturizer I use moisturizers every day I even use SPF on my skin every day and this feels exactly like that I don't know how it will act as like a primer let's see the very first impressions i don't see a difference at all i have to say i also don't see a lot of the pore minimizing effect that everybody seems to see with these products i do notice that this side with the liquid version is a little bit more luminous it also feels a little bit cooling i don't know why but it feels slightly cooling while the cream version or like the putty version it feels 
thicker i have to say it feels like i do have moisturizer on like a cream moisturizer on looks wise though i don't really see much of a difference but again i do notice that this is slightly more luminous experience wise i do prefer the liquid version because this one i can just pour into my hand and put it on my face versus the putty type which is in a jar or like in a container like this where you have to like dig into it with your finger so i think this is just more hygienic and i like the experience of this little bit more so we're gonna let that set a little bit and then we're gonna go in with our foundation and then we'll see a close-up of our products on top see if there's a difference okay so everything is on my face now and let's where's my mirror so it's been a few hours and i just want to see how my skin looks if there's any difference between the two oh my gosh there's actually a difference okay this is weird usually there's no difference but looking close I see a difference and it's obvious. I don't know if you notice it in camera, I did do a lot of close-ups and I have to say, I like the liquid. If you look into the details on my side where the putty primer was, you can tell that there's something weird going on with my dry patches. This is unusual for me to see two differences on a product. I'm very shocked. Seeing that there's a difference between the two, I definitely i'm shocked i have to say i do notice a little bit of the pore minimizing especially on the cheek side also around my mouth usually the first to go is my nose and my mouth and i noticed that the side where the liquid pore putty primer is looks so much better than the other side where the creamy putty primer is i can tell here i can see dry patches right here I can also see dry patches all the way here which I've never noticed before, okay? On this side, it honestly looks almost flawless, I have to say. I really like how there is no dryness at all. It does look a little bit oily but I'm used to that because I have a very oily t-zone but my cheeks looks gorgeous my cheeks which is usually dry looks amazing on this side it looks fine i do have more pigmentation on this side so i understand but that does not excuse the dry patches over here i've never noticed this before and so i am really shocked so this side i can still see some of that texture but on this side the texture isn't super noticeable i feel like it's just so much more smoother and i am just really shocked and pleasantly surprised by this so final thoughts between the elf liquid pore putty primer and the actual pore putty primer that's not a liquid i have to say i do really enjoy the liquid version seeing how different these two are kind of makes me feel good about this one i will continue to use this i'm usually using the elf power grip primer that one i absolutely love and now that i have this one to contend with that i'm really excited i actually might make a face off between the power grip and the liquid poreless because of how much i am impressed with this and overall i just like how smooth my skin looks and how there's no dry patches over here as opposed to the other side which has dry patches from afar you don't notice it but closely you can and that really shocked me i am definitely excited to see what other products elf will have in store i'm sure they're going to continue with this line so overall if you are more dry i think the liquid would suit your skin more if you are more on the oily side maybe try the putty primer but i have oily combination skin and honestly i really am enjoying the liquid primer so far i will continue to use it as the days goes by it'll probably end up in a favorites or fails video at the end of the month so stay tuned for that so don't forget to hit that notification bell to be informed when i upload thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the, the video please don't forget to like this video and subscribe down below also comment down below your thoughts and opinions and i hope to see you in my next video bye